Little Ireland Road. Hello, YouTube. How are yous doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Luck of the Irish to ya. Today we be reviewing Bushmills Original. Uh, Bushmills Original Irish whiskey. Brewed in Ireland at the old Bushmills Distillery. Well, I shouldn't say brewed. Distilled in Ireland at the old Bushmills Distillery. Uh, Diageo imports it to Canada. They are the distributors here. Uh, return for refund. Um, they all talk about drinking responsibly here in... I don't know if every country has the drink responsibly labels or not. But it's a big thing here in Canada, especially in Ontario. So, it's all over everything. 40% uh, alcohol. It says it's smooth and mellow. Um, it's been distilled since 1608. Uh, the smooth and mellow, it is a very smooth whiskey. I won't take that away from it. Mellow, maybe mellow compared to some whiskeys, like, say, the Mooch whiskey I have on the back bar. But mellow in general, I'm not quite 100% sure on that. Uh, this is the first time this is being opened. It wasn't bought for this, but it just hasn't been touched. Uh, as you see, very brassy color, a lot lighter than a lot of the whiskeys and scotches out there. I'm going to put it into the tequila rose glass because you don't have to see the color of it once it's poured. It doesn't smell anywhere nearly as smooth as the uh, 10 year malt did. There's a lot of woodiness to it. There's a bit of plum to it. I get a tiny bit of vanilla, but I don't get any caramel, I don't get any toffee. It actually kind of has that, uh, just the pure alcohol scent to it. Again, not as smooth or mellow smelling as, as the other Bushmills I reviewed, the Bushmills 10 year single malt, but I mean not nearly as bad as some some whiskeys out there. The more I smell it, the more the vanilla comes forth, the alcohol has stopped burning my nose as much. So the vanilla, the oak, and the plum is there. Really, there's not much more scent-wise. I wish my wife hadn't opened up the door upstairs because this stupid dog just keeps running up and down. But anyway. Smooth, yeah. Mellow, as I said. Compared to some sc scotches and some whiskeys, and some bourbons, and some sour mashes, and just everything in the whiskey family. Yes, the rye too. Yes, it is a lot smoother and mellower than a lot of things in the whiskey family. But I wouldn't really put on the bottle right on the front mellow because it's not really all that mellow. As soon as it hits your tongue, you get that alcohol burn. As you swallow it, the plum comes out, the vanilla becomes very apparent, the oak is fairly apparent too, uh, the woodiness is there. You kind of get a graininess to it too, a grainy sensation across your tongue. Uh, Also hits your tongue with this Also hits your tongue with this interesting uh, green apple sensation. Uh, I said in the last one too that there was apple in it. 
This one has an apple-y flavor as well. It's, it's not a bad whiskey. I mean, I drink it. I usually drink it neat or on the rocks. Uh, I don't use Bushmills as a mixing whiskey. I usually use the cheaper stuff as mixing whiskeys because you want to hide their flavors anyway. This stuff has good enough flavor that drinking it straight is fine. Uh, I'd probably put it at a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, I love my scotch. I'm pretty big on rye. I'm pretty big on whiskey. I like it. It's good. But, truthfully, in, in the long run of things, it's a budget whiskey. It's, it's a whiskey you're not going to get unless you're... If you're a big whiskey drinker, you're not going to go ahead and get this whiskey unless you're on a budget. I mean, you want the really good stuff, the really smooth, flavorful, and, and mellow stuff, you're looking at spending over $100 on a bottle. I'm not really into that, so this is a whiskey I'll keep on hand. But you guys all have a good day. Happy St. Patrick's again to you. Good beer drinking, good booze drinking, and the luck of the Irish to you. Bye.